So I've got something a little different for you today, um, but it is a game. <laughs> it is a book. Um, I would have classified it as a game book. Um, you know, I think all people that's played games of a certain age, that are a certain age, have uh, have experience with these type of game books. You know, um, back in the seventies and eighties, and uh, even in the nineties, as as I understand it. And they have made a bit of a comeback in the last few years, um, nostalgia reasons, so some of it. But uh, this is Choose Your Own Horrible History. Killing, kill Hitler your way today. Killing Hitler with praise and fire. Um, I'm, I was basically interested in this book because of the subject matter. You know, um, I think there was something like uh, 44 known attempts or plots on on the life of Adolf Hitler, which the um, known um, was probably more that we didn't know about, almost certainly more than that we didn't know about. And I think it's an interesting subject. I mean, it's been game before. Go back to SBI's. Um, the plot to assassinate Hitler, or recently the uh, Black Orchestra, which is a lot of Euro mechanics there, but still a pretty good game dealing with the subject matter. And um, so I wanted to get this one. This one was from 2013. It's written by Matthew Hutchins. Uh, obviously, Mr. Hutchins here has um, has an affinity for the old Choose Your Own Adventure books. Um, this doesn't have a game system um, like the old fighting fantasies or if you ever played TSR Sniper series or um, doesn't have a game system like that so why am I calling it a game? Well, you do have an objective you have an objective to kill or disable Adolf Hitler so in the uh, you may change the course of history um, it's sci-fi elements as well it's set in uh, the year 2525 you've got a time machine you want to go back in time and do something which history and time travel just two subjects that I just love that's why a game like <laughs> and I, I don't play it as much anymore I'm afraid I'm going to wear it out and I don't have an extra copy um, SBI is a time tripper one, <laughs> such a great game and uh, so this kind of reminded me of that, and I picked it up, and I've read all the, you know, you're just going through, you know, not a lot of, not a lot of text here. I ain't gonna give away too much text, just in case y'all wanna, wanna look at it, uh, wanna pick it up. It don't cost much at all. You can pick it up on Amazon or eBay, minimal prices, you know, five dollars. You probably, probably find a used copy. Um, so what did I think about it? Well, yeah, it's it, it's decent. You know, you got 13 paths to try to kill or disable Hitler. I kind of, it kind of, I was, I was kind of, it was kind of a downer because the first path I took and the first way I chose, I ended up killing him, <laughs> whether by luck or by uh, using instinct, ended up killing him. But so, I, but I had went through all the paths. I did that last night. Um, thank goodness for my. I don't sleep much where I don't sleep much, you know, so uh, I started about midnight and uh, I took breaks and stuff, but I, I was done with all of it, 4 a.m. There's, um, it has how many pages we got here, 317, I do believe, 317 pages, nothing difficult, uh, historically correct in many ways as far as the life of Hitler from what I can tell, uh, which is interesting. You know, and it's a lot of moralizing in it. Well, you know, of course there should be a lot of situational ethics, as there should be. And it's written, you know, basically for a grown-up. It's not great writing. It's not really in-depth. It's not like uh, John Antal. He had a series uh, that, I, that I had of game books, uh, you know, stressing... 
modern warfare or the modern warfare of the 90s, let's say. It's changed a bit since then. Um, the combined arms. But uh, idea. So, uh, yeah, uh, Colonel Intel had that. And tall, excuse me. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's what I would recommend it if you on a plane and want to read and don't want to do something, want to kill some time, I, I'd highly recommend it for that. And I just always like the idea of game books that step out of the fantasy or the solo RPG and give you more of a, a warish feel. And there are a few out there. I have quite a few. And this one was one of them. And I just uh, thought it would be interesting. Thought it would be interesting. Anybody wanted it out there? I know a, a certain corporal. That watches <laughs> that watches these um, was a big fan of <laughs> choose your own adventure. Um, yeah, I remember that. So, uh, yeah, you ever wanna you ever wanna see what it'd be like to kill Hitler? Try to do it. Um, you you can kill Hitler more ways than one in this book. So it works out good in some of them. Works it out not so good in other paths. So just fun, just a fun read lot very light read <laughs> so uh but you'll you you should enjoy it if you enjoy history thank y'all have a great day